Hi everybody, I'm Joey Paul and I'm an indie author and welcome back to my channel. I write young adult fiction across a variety of genres and if you think that might interest you then think about subscribing below. So this week we're going to do questions from you guys. I have 10 questions and a bonus one and I'm just going to jump right to it. Number one, do you plan to release all your books in audio? Yes. It's taking a while because obviously there's a lot that goes into audio production. I have to find the right narrator, I have to wait for them to do the production, and then I have to listen to it all and approve it and everything else. So it takes a longer time than say publishing, but my plan is to eventually release all my books. Number two, what are your thoughts on your break from drafting? So I've been not drafting since about July and it's been a weird shift but at the same time it's been a good one so going back to revising and rewriting older projects it's allowed me to calm some of that nervous energy in my brain that these projects weren't ready to be revised and spend more time working on them and getting them into a shape where they work better number three will you do more signings in 2025 i don't think so simply because i put my toe in the water and i haven't had any acceptance so i think the only signing i'm going to do in 2025 is wonderland and i'm okay with that i've tried to reach out to other people but either those signings haven't happened or i haven't been picked it happens number four when will you release another standalone and what genre will that be the next download to be released is actually one that I'm working on rewriting and revising and it will be paranormal romance slash urban fantasy and it probably won't be until 2027 I think it is which isn't that long from now but it also feels like forever so yeah. Number five, loving the audiobooks, will you keep up with releasing them as much as possible? Yes, I will. Basically, like I said before, it takes time and I'm planning to try and get all my books in audio by 2026. Number six, what's your favourite app for writing and why? I'm really boring in that I don't really delve into like Scrivener or anything else like that. I'm not a planner, so I see no reason to have lots of planning tools when it comes to writing and personally I just like writing in a doc simply because then I can just export it without having to worry about incompatibility issues so I write in an office app basically and it's boring but it works for me. Number seven, do you ever feel like you're overwhelmed with all you're doing? Yes I do, at times it feels like I'm up against this time crunch and I'm going to run out of time and that there's just so many balls in the air that I'm bound to drop one but I'm also okay with taking my time and taking a break and taking a breath and focusing on the one thing that's important which up till recently was my newest release which came out last week or this week and basically that was the ball that I had to keep in the air but now that that's done I can move on to the next important ball in the air. Number eight, how do you read so many books in a year? I've actually read less books this year than I normally would simply because I've slowed down in my reading but generally speaking I have a lot of downtime in the fact that I work really early in the morning and then I am awake and reading most of the rest of the day. So I'm a fast reader anyway and it just happens that I have a lot of books to get through and I get through them quite quickly usually about one book a day sometimes two but depends on the length of the book and how fast I'm reading but that's basically how I read a lot so it adds up number nine what's your favorite way to read I did a short about this but my favorite way to read is basically kindle in bed curled up with a kitten or two and just reading that way I find it more accessible for me because I don't have to hold the paperback and I have a kindle mount so I can just sit and eat, tap when I need to turn the page and it just makes my life that much easier number 10 loving the disability content in reels will you keep doing that that is the plan I've been planning out my reels for 2025 and making lists of what I need to do and all the rest of it and that is the plan to still keep doing the disability content because it has done so well and the bonus question if you could highlight one book which one would you choose at the moment my highlight would focus on either cramming chronicles or invisible simply because they're my newer releases I really do love invisible I love the story that it's telling I have I mean the process of getting that book ready to go to the edge to next month so 
I really am enjoying the bits that I know that readers don't yet and the bits that my beta readers and sensitivity readers know and liked so I really enjoy that book and I really think it should have more eyes but it also is one of my better sellers so but with Crampton Chronicles again I'm focusing on something that I know but readers don't necessarily know and with Third Ache coming out last week this week I can work out the time it's something that I really wish a lot of more people would read because it's such a good series even though I wrote it which may sound conceited but there you go but if I had to highlight one book I'd probably choose between though that series and the invisible series so there we go that's basically all my questions and all my answers this actually went a lot faster than I thought it would normally these these videos take me forever to put together but this one seemed to be a quicker one so if you have a question for me, you can shoot it to me on social media and I'm probably going to answer it there and then, but sometimes I hoard them for videos that are like this. So what's your favourite way to read? Let me know in the comments down below. So that's all I've got time for today. If you want to support my channel, you can comment, like or subscribe. I post your videos on Thursdays. You can find me all over social media and my books are available everywhere. You can also sign up for my newsletter. And don't forget to pick up Crime and Chronicles of the Third Ache, which is the third in a young adult urban fantasy series. And also don't forget to grab a ticket for Wonderland in Nottingham in July 2025, where I'll be signing books. All the links to which are listed below. Thanks for watching and remember to keep writing. Bye.